guys, if you're watching this video, it's because you have green water, milky, cloudy water, brown water, and you want rid of it. You want that crystal clear water. So let's get rid of the fluff. Let's jump right into this. I do want to explain to you how what causes each of these things. That's important because it's going to help you understand how to prevent them from ever happening again and have crystal clear water. Like me, I haven't had the issue with any of these things for years and you can too just by following what I talk about in this video and you can enjoy the fish for years and a beautiful tank for you and your friends and family. So keeping in mind that none of these things are harmful to your fish, they just look ugly so you don't have to freak out, okay? Let's talk about these three things. Let's get right into it. First on the list is that green water. This is an algae bloom. This is due to an excess of nitrates and phosphates in your tank. I'm only gonna to touch on the two top things that cause this, and that is if you have your tank too close to a window and it's getting direct sunlight. If you can't move the tank away from the window, you can diffuse the light with a curtain. Um, other than that, if you can't move the tank, you just have to take the steps you can to reduce that sunlight hitting your tank. The other thing is, is your aquarium lights. You should have your aquarium lights on for six to eight hours a day. If you're running them 12 to 15 hours a day, that's entirely too much, and it's just a recipe to create algae and algae blooms. Keep in mind that the aquarium's lights on our lights is for us, not the fish. The fish would be totally happy with the ambient light in the room, but we all like the aquarium lights because we get to have viewing pleasure. It's the point of an aquarium. I got them on all mine, and it's totally fine. Just reduce it down to six to eight hours a day. If you don't have a light that has a built-in timer, you can get timers from Lowe's or Home Depot, put them on there, and not only does it help reduce the amount of light during the day, there's some fish that can't stand having lights on too, too long, and it drives them crazy. So having timers not only reduces the algae, but it does create that consistent day and night that they should have, just like humans. So. There you go. That's the reason why you have green water and algae blooms. Let's go to the next topic. Quick little side note, guys. Another way to help reduce algae is to pack your plants with your aquariums with a lot of plants. Plants do great in absorbing all these excess nutrients like nitrates and phosphates. It uses them for food. It takes them out, makes your plants grow, and what it expels is oxygen in the tank for the fish. So if you want to put a lot of aquarium plants in your aquarium, it's going to help for a lot of reasons, this being one good one. So just wanted to throw that in there so we understand another natural way that we can help reduce these issues. Like this tank back here. Let's talk about that white milky hazy water you got in your tank. This is due to an bacteria bloom that you have, usually common seen in first set up aquariums because they haven't really got stabilized and established themselves. That's when it normally shows up, but sometimes it can show up out of the blue. And this is due to a imbalance of a particular bacteria that reproduces rapidly called the heterotrophic bacteria. And it just reproduces so much and it's so small, your filtration system can't take it out. So you get that white, hazy, milky looking water. So um, we're gonna discuss how to take care of that as well. Let's talk about that brown tea looking water in your, in your tank and you don't like it, you wanna get rid of it, just like the other two. We're trying to get that crystal clear water. Well, this is tannins. Tannins, in, tannins is caused by dissolved organic carbon built up in your tank. Um, usually in our situation, we have too much driftwood in our tanks. There's nothing wrong with having driftwood, it's natural. It provides food for certain fish like plecos and it, it looks great, I have it in all my tanks, okay? But what's in this driftwood is tannins and once it gets soaked with water, it leaches into your water in your tank. Um, whether you get it from the store or you get it out in the wild on the beach, you can do that. If you can avoid getting it out from the beach, I would recommend trying to avoid it, but it, you can still do it and that's not a problem. You're gonna have to take additional steps. Um, you might've gotten a piece from the store that wasn't quite soaked long enough. The reason why we soak driftwood is to help get them tannins out. And um, if you don't get it all out, it's going to leach into your aquarium, but don't freak out. It's good for your fish. Some brackish dark colored fish like that environment and Aquarius set their tanks up to achieve that look. Fish like betas are from that kind of environment and some of these tannins have natural antibiotic properties in them that's great for fish. So if you want that look great, if you don't, you want that crystal clear water, which is the reason why you're watching this video, we're gonna talk about how to get rid of that too. So next I wanna talk about how to get rid of these things and deal with each one of them. Let's get right into that. 
So hands down by far the number one way to reduce all these issues is to do your water changes and maintenance. Whether it be every week, every two weeks, every month, whatever your tank requires because every tank is different. You can have the same size tank with the same fish, the same decorations in tanks side by side, but each one's gonna be different. I always say aquariums are like a thumbprint. Every one of them is different. They're never gonna be the same. So you're gonna have different water chemistry and everything. But the best way to reduce having green water, white cloudy water, brown water is to get in there, clean the algae off the glass. Let's get all the uneaten food and poop off, off the substrate. Let's do our water changes and let's refill those aquariums with fresh water after adding your dechlorinator of your choice. This is the number one way to prevent all these issues. If you do it religiously and regularly, you're not going to have this issue. That's the best way, okay? Filters. Always over filter. I always over filter all my aquariums. If you have a good filtration system and you have all of the stages of the aquarium filtration system set up, your, your mechanical, your biological, and your chemical if you use it, that's gonna help a ton. It's not all cure-all, but this is definitely something you're gonna want in your aquarium. You can do things like polyfill, and that's going to be like a fine, very cheap thing you can get at Walmart. They use the stuff pillows with. That stuff's great for hanging the back filters. Put it in there and it gets out a lot of stuff. You can throw it away, or you can rinse it and reuse it, put some new in. Cheap, great way. Don't fall into that rabbit hole of getting them cartridges that are already pre-made with carbon filled in them and all that stuff. You don't need it. It's a waste of money. It's a marketing scheme. Get rid of it. Use polyfill, pinky floss, sponges. All these things are cleanable and reusable to last you for years and save you a ton of money and will help in getting all those particulates out and biomatter that does cause all these issues as we discussed. So definitely important to look at filtration. Have your good biofilter media in there like your rings or your matrix and things like this because you need to build that up. <clears throat> now let's talk about clarifiers. This is a water conditioner, so to speak, that helps clear all these things up. If you're looking for immediate results to get crystal clear water, the fastest way is to use clarifiers. Do I recommend it? Sure, it's not going to harm anything, but you are introducing chemicals, additional chemicals into your aquarium. You really don't need to, but they're designed to be safe for them. But me, I just do my regular maintenance and I don't have this issue. But if you have the green water, the cloudy milky water, the brown water, and you want rid of it now, the best thing you can do is add a water clarifier, something like API AccuClear or Seachem Clarity. You dump it in per the instruction dosage on the container and I've used both of them and I'd come out the next day and my cloudy water was gone and it was crystal clear, right? But that's great, awesome, you resolved your issue. But did you really? I wanna talk about why clarifiers are not always a good option. So these clarifiers give you immediate results now, what everybody wants. Everybody's impatient and they want results now. I'm that way, so I can't say anything about it. And I've used these products. But if you're not getting to the root cause of the issue, it's going to come back. You can clarify the water all you want, but unless you're getting to the reason why these things are happening, you're never gonna have crystal clear water all the time. You're always gonna be working and you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna quit the hobby and we don't want that. So what you gotta do is you gotta figure out what's causing it. You have too many nitrates. You have too much uneaten food and poop in the tank. You're not getting it out of there. Your filter's dirty. Yes, we have to clean those periodically too because those contribute to building up nitrates as well. You have to clean those out. I use canister filters. I can go up to seven months without having to clean my canister filter. Sometimes that changes, but more time than not, canister filters are by far the most convenient way to filter your water because they have more stages of filtration and you can go longer without cleaning them. So we talked about clarifiers and filters. Now let's talk about some chemical filtration. Chemical filtration, something I don't use anymore. You don't have to, but if you want to, nothing wrong with it. It's just another thing you can add to your repertoire to help keep, it, keep an awesome, clean, crystal clear looking water. Polish that water even a little bit more for more clarity. Carbon, I'm sure everyone's heard of that, or charcoal comes in a lot of pre-made media that you can put in your filters. Carbon's good at removing heavy metals and toxins, and it also is great for getting rid of an odor if you have odors in your aquarium. By the way, if you have an odor in your aquarium, you shouldn't have an odor. It's because you have an issue of most likely excess nitrates and biomatter buildup, which is probably the same reason why you have all these different blooms and nasty water in the first place, which if you take out doing maintenance, you won't have that issue either. Carbon's cool, but it it gets saturated within a couple days and you gotta take it out and replace it. it. Can get very expensive. Purigen, in my experience and opinion, is by far the best chemical media going. Seachem Purigen lasts longer. You can recharge it by using a bleach water mixture and reuse it again. I don't do that. I just toss it out and put it back in. Purigen does everything carbon does and more. It helps to reduce 
ammonia nitrite and nitrates, it doesn't take it from the water. All it does is it breaks down all these things in your aquarium that's sitting around so your filter can then effectively take it out. So don't think by using chemical filtration it's a cure-all and you can do less maintenance. You can't, you still have to remove these things. If you wanna have an aquarium and you wanna have healthy fish and you want that crystal clear water, the only way to really get that done is to do some work, put some elbow grease in, okay? So that's it. That's how to get crystal clear water. Religious consistent maintenance in your tanks. If you wanna take it a step up and try to polish that water even more to get it even more clarity, you can add your chemical filtration. That's gonna definitely help as well. But ultimately it comes down to you and doing your maintenance and keeping this stuff clean. So if you like this video, let me know, subscribe, help me get to that 1K mark. If you like my content and you wanna see some more content on something else, leave a comment on any of my videos. I always reply to them and uh, I'll, I will do it if I haven't already. So <clears throat> that's it guys, thanks again. Have a good rest of your weekend, be safe and till next video.